All right, we are live. And in today's show, I'm talking to you about progression rather than perfection. Because even just earlier today, I see this popping up. So many women out there beat themselves up when it comes to their diet, their exercise plan, their habits, whatever it may be, they beat themselves up if they're not getting it perfect. And so I want to talk to you about that today. So I will do in a moment. So first of all, have you had a good weekend? Let me know if you've had a good weekend. What did you get up to? What did I get up to? I had a birthday party for, for well, not, not my child's birthday, but, you know, off doing the birthday party gauntlet over the weekend, ballet, swimming, all that shenanigans. And so that the weekend doesn't, uh, doesn't seem like a rest, does it? So that was my weekend. Let me know what your weekend was like. And if you're watching this live, say hello. Don't be shy. Stick a little comment down in there. Let me know you're watching. Let me know where you're watching from. It'd be great to hear from you. And if you're watching the replay, stick a hashtag replay down in the comment section as well. So I know you've seen this video and I can follow up with you. So if you do have any questions and you're watching the replay, stick them in there. So Dawn is in as always. Dawn, I can always rely on you to come in here and say hello. And uh, you were doing the challenge as well, aren't you? I think you're doing the challenge. Pretty sure you are. So I think you were jumped in there earlier on. So have you done task one yet? You should be, seeing as you've already done it once before, you should be familiar with the task and what's going on in for day one. But uh, today, right now, it's the Health is Wealth show. And for those of you who do not know me, I am Gavin. I'm your host for the Health is Wealth show. It's something I do every Monday and Thursday at one o'clock, discuss a little topic to try and help you lot out. And uh, this is one I've seen uh, today and o- over the weekend as well with a few of my uh, VIP clients, maybe last week as well. So it's uh, beating yourself up when things aren't going to plan. So I can see Nancy's in there. Hi, Nancy. Great to have you on board here. And uh, what did Dawn say? I am. <laughs> I am. And I've done task one. Good, good. I will go in there and check. So there's obviously lots of things going on in the challenge right now. Uh, for uh, Some of you may even be in the challenge. So Nancy, are you in the challenge? can't remember if you, you're doing this one. Um, but yes, tons of women in the challenge and uh, I'm busy keeping an eye on what's going on in there. And I'll be live later this evening for those of you who are in the challenge as well. So today's Health is Wealth show. Let, let me yeah, let me back it up a bit. Last week, I was talking to one of my VIP clients and her exercise wasn't going to plan. So one of her habits that she was working on was to exercise three times a week. And it had gotten to Thursday. My phone's ringing. A bit naughty of me, isn't it? And it got into Thursday and she hadn't done any exercise yet. And she was starting to lose her mojo and thinking, oh, I'm doing the same thing again. And then, you know, started beating herself up. And the thing is, she'd been working with me for a good few weeks now. And she was comparing herself to perfection. Because when we start a new diet or an exercise plan, or even just working on your habits, you set yourself something that you want to do. So for example, with this lady, she wanted to exercise three times a week. That was one of her habits that we wanted to work on. And it had gone to pot last week. You know, life, kids, family, work, all those sorts of things. They happen to us all. And sometimes exercise, diet just gets thrown out the window. Maybe for a couple of days, maybe longer. Often longer if you bury yourself or you bury your head in the sand. That's why I often see people... Who, are, who begin to struggle, then don't want to talk about it, don't want to know about it, and just stick their head in the sand. And a few weeks go by, a few months go by, and they've done nothing about it. But luckily, we had a little chat, and we uh, we got her back on board. But she was comparing herself to the perfect vision. And I want to tell you right now, the perfection doesn't exist. I skip workouts. I sometimes lie in. My diet is not 100% perfect all the time. So for someone who's coming from perhaps a few steps away from from where I am trying to aim for perfection all of the time is not a good thing to do so we're looking at progression rather than perfection and making sure that you don't compare yourself to where you are right now to that perfect view that you have instead compare yourself to where you've come from so for this lady she started up a few weeks ago and before that she wasn't doing any exercise nothing for months and months and she started up, so the first couple of weeks went, went quite well. And last week, a bit of a hiccup, as we all have them. But she was comparing herself to this perfect view of herself, you know, 100%, doing that three times a week, no problems. And 
you know, if you've been doing no exercise, just doing one in a week is good. Doing two in a week, and if you're getting three, amazing. Any more than that, bloody brilliant. But compare yourself to the previous version of yourself. So a few months ago, even if it's last year, what were you doing then? Are you doing better than you were then? And that's what we're looking for. So compare yourself to you and nobody else as well. That's often a, another thing that I see, comparing yourself to other people and what they're doing. You've got your own life and only you know what's going on in your life. So sometimes it's baby steps, progression rather than per perfection. And that's what I want to talk about today. OK, so stop beating yourself up. If the diet's not going well, if your exercise plan is, is gone out the window for, for the week, then don't beat yourself up. Just get back on it the following week. Don't bury your head in the sand like so many people do. So I can see a few more people jumping on here. So, hey, Ned. Hey, Sharon. You know about that, Sharon, don't you? Was it the week? Was it last week or the week before? You were you were, you were having a bit of a trouble with your exercise plan as well. And this happens to us all. So the key is to get back on it quickly, not bury yourself, or not bury yourself and your head in the sand and get back on it as quickly as possible. And sometimes just putting your hand up and say, you know, some of my VIP clients, they say to me, well, they just let me know. It's like, oh, I'm struggling this week. And just the fact of, of letting somebody know that, oh, it's not gone to, to plan this week. And I, I give them a bit of a, a bit of a gene up, like, come on, it's all right. Don't don't beat yourself up about it. It's okay. There's still plenty of time left in the week. You can get a, another workout in, maybe two if we're lucky. But if you don't get free, then do not worry about it. Okay. Same thing goes for your diet. Now, often you ladies will aim for that 100% perfect run, and that is not good. So I would aim for roughly 78%. All right, so don't look at perfection. Don't try and get everything done, diet, exercise. Give yourself a little bit of wriggle room, okay? And if uh, if you don't get all your planned workouts in or your diet goes off for a day or two, don't beat yourself up. Just get back on it quickly. Ask for help if you need to. Give me a shout. That's what I'm here for, just like Sharon. All right, <laughs> so she'll let me know if she's struggling with anything, and I will either give her some tough love or kick up the bum or just... Uh, sometimes an, an arm round you know that sometimes it needs it depends on, on the scenario and the situation sometimes it's like you can do this and you just got to keep moving forward okay don't aim for perfection progression that is the key okay and that's how you build a consistency up start planning your workouts start planning your diet whether it's uh, just your evening meals and if it's workout wise you're putting them into your diary that will help you stick with it but even if you know life will have a habit of throwing curveballs at you kids sick husband sick you know just as bad as the kids really and especially if it's me anyway um but yeah there's going to be ups and downs along the way with your health with your with your weight so just keep moving forward that's what i'm trying to say okay so i hope my little uh, my little tips there my little motivational talk rant whatever you want to call it has helped you today and uh did I say at the start? If you've liked this video, if you like my little videos here, make sure you like and share them. So hit that like button now. Give me a couple of likes on this. Let's see what see what we can do. All right. And uh, for now, I'm gonna I'm gonna shoot off. I'm gonna go and have lunch with my wife, and uh, hope you enjoy the rest of your day. And if you're on the challenge, I'm gonna be looking out for all your comments on task one today. I'm gonna be going live later on. Okay. So keep your eyes peeled for that. And we'll be talking about. Uh, some some emotions that I'm not seeing in, in today's task. That's what I'd like to see more of. Okay. All right. So yes, cheers, Dawn. Cheers, Sharon. Cheers, Enid, Nancy. Great to have you all on board. I know there's lots more of you watching. So make sure you say hello next time. All right. I won't bite. Okay. All right. So enjoy the rest of your day and I will catch you later. All right. Bye for now.